Hi, I am Aditya Garg. I scored 99.92 percentile in CAT 2021 and I have converted IIM Bangalore. I was a life class student with study bus and I want to share my preparation strategy. Uh, so based on my experience with CAT, I think the most important strategy is to learn from your own mistakes and keep improving them. So this is where the mocks come in. Uh, I think that we should start giving mocks from day one of our preparation. So you might score low or you might score high, which does not really matter in the end. Uh, what matters is the process. So you mock it, you do analysis karte ho, and you figure out what concepts uh, are still remaining to be learned and you go through those concepts. So this is a kind of a cyclic process and if you keep repeating it again and again, starting from day one till the day you give CAT. So this will benefit you a lot and uh, also improve your marks. So yeah, mocks uh, are the major key strategy that we should follow. Uh, now coming to the sectional preparation, the first section is uh, VARC. So the general trend is to uh, read more and more articles and the general advice is to read more and more articles uh, of different types and different genres to build our VARC skills. But I did not really have that much time uh, due to my job. So what I did was I uh, set up a timer and took up three or four RCs and solved them in the given time. Uh, then while analyzing, I uh, focused on my mistakes and uh, tried to figure out uh, how to improve them in the next attempt. So initially, I used to get very low marks in my RCs. Uh, but धीरे धीरे समझ आने लग गया है कि कैसे RCs को approach करना है और किस टाइप के questions पूछे जा सकते हैं given RC में से। तो अगर ये process continue करते रहेंगे तो it will improve your marks and improve your accuracy, which is the key in VARC section especially. And coming to verbal ability, uh, I think it was the easier part in this first section because there are not many types of questions in this. The types of questions are very few. So you can practice more and more uh, number of questions under those given types and improve your accuracy. Uh, so the next section is uh, LRDI. For me, this was my strongest section. And uh, I think the key in LRDI is again practice and practice. So we should know what types of sets uh, are asked in CAT. And there is a fixed number of uh, types. So we should go through all those types and build our basic concepts related to those. So initially, uh, when we RC, uh, LRDI ke set solve LRDI sets, we have time to solve the sets, which is completely fine. Once we keep on building our concepts and get more clarity on the types of sets that are asked, we will improve on that. And uh, I think uh, 40 minutes are enough to solve good amount of LRDI sets. So coming to the quant section, uh, this is the only section where I think a uh, few, uh, a bit of preparation is required before you start giving the mocks because some kind of a conceptual clarity and some formulae are required to solve this section. So uh, yeah, just do a basic concept clarity and learn about the concepts uh, before you dive into the mocks. And uh, while when you're giving the mocks and analyzing them, just make sure to uh, make a list of your weak topics so that you can know that what to focus on. <clears throat> also, since in CAT accuracy is more important than number of attempts, uh, you might get away with not uh, preparing for the difficult concepts in this particular section. Uh, but one advice that I will give is learn the basics of all the concepts because you don't know when you get a concept from an easy question aa and if you don't know basics, nahi pata, you might miss on an opportunity to get easy marks. Yeah, so this was my sectional strategy and uh, yeah, it is a very personal strategy so everyone can design this strategy based on uh, how you are performing in the mocks and what section needs more time, what section needs less time so it is a very personal thing. <clears throat> uh, all in all, I think CAT is a game of consistency. So if you set up achievable targets regularly and beat them uh, and do it consistently, I think uh, the process is quite simple. So coming to the last part, I think uh, revision is a very important part in the CAT preparation. So I kept aside one whole month before my exam for revision. Uh, this is where uh, I followed the courses given by study bus and the revision planner was actually really good. So we sat every day, every night for three hours 
and solved questions in a given time so we analyzed them and uh, they were uh, different levels of difficulty for these questions as well so if you do these questions every day then you have a mindset for the exam ke liye. and also you gain a lot of confidence once you start improving on your marks so when you go into the exam with this mindset and the sense of confidence scoring will actually be easier so yeah that's all advice from my side uh, thank you. All the best.